Hey, it's Andrew from PracticalMaker.com. Today we're going to do an updated version of configuring the BNC sensor shield. So what you want is uh, your pH 7 and pH 10 or 4. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It really just depends on what you're going to be measuring, whether it be an acid or a base. You're also going to want to upload the example code on the website to your Arduino. Um, it's on the website, you just upload it and it will start spitting out the pH values. So the first thing you want to do is put it in pH 7 and uh, grab your multimeter and you actually want to measure the voltage of the Arduino. So we'll put it in ground and 5 volts. Now this is very important for the sketch. So you can see I've got 5.06 volts. Now in the Arduino sketch, there's a line that says define Arduino voltage 5.0. You want to change that 5.0 to whatever voltage reading you get on your multimeter. This will make the readings much more accurate. Now that we've done that, we want to hook the uh, output of the uh, shield. So basically you just want this row. So if you're looking at the shield kind of this way, the pins on the left side, hook that up to the positive of your multimeter. Okay, so now you can see I've got um, negative, well it hasn't stabilized yet. negative 6.08 volts well that's changing so what you want to do is change the back left so this trim pot uh, we're in pH 7 so you want this to read 0 so you want to offset adjust it so we just start turning that until we get nope not that way Alright, there we go. So you can see that the voltage is going closer to zero. Now you, you could do this with just the sketch, but since the Arduino can't read negative voltages, it's a bit of a hassle. So there we go, we're at uh, 12. So try and get that as close to zero as possible without going negative so 3.7 millivolts isn't bad now it's time to take the pH probe out of the pH 7 dry it off and rinse it in some distilled water and place it in the pH 10 now you'll see that it reads 0.7 volts and here's where you want to open up the serial monitor on your Arduino um, and basically it'll print out the pH on lines. So right now it's saying pH equals 8.2. So we want to, while you're reading your computer screen of the serial output, you want to adjust this trim pot, the gain, until it reads pH 10 in the output. That's the wrong way, so we're just going up. Now the Arduino sketch that's loaded on here is only good for measuring stuff in between pH uh, say 10 well, actually, it could go all the way up to 14. Okay, so we're almost at 10.00, right there, 10.01. That's pretty good. So you can see 1.77 uh, volts, 1.78 is about what we want. And right now it's printing on the screen 10.01. I'll just show you. Alright, so you can see the 
10.01 it's printing. So right now I'm going to switch it back into pH 7 and this will probably be the last step that you need to do. You'll need to put it back in the pH 7 and adjust the offset trim pot again so it's this back left one until you hit pH 7 or 0 volts on your multimeter now you may need to do this a couple times and I'm doing this fast you actually should let each probe sit in the solution for you know five ten minutes for the readings to stabilize so we're almost there and if you go negative just turn it back the other way until you just hit positive if you've got really fine <laughs> motor control, you could try and get zero, but I don't, so. Alright, so. 10 millivolts, that isn't bad. It'll, it'll stabilize at a much lower level anyways. Well, it looks like we're still going down. So we'll adjust it a little bit more. Okay, so that will stabilize again lower. And basically, over the five or 10 minutes, just keep adjusting that so that your multimeter continues to read as close to zero as you can get and make sure you pay attention to the serial output of the Arduino IDE it will tell you how close you are and so we'll just rinse this off, dry it off put it in the pH 10 okay so we were aiming for 1.788 volts So we're still climbing. This like last one, it, it will take maybe five, ten minutes at least to reach pH 10. Um, you can see up at the screen here, we're reading 9.41 and the multimeter is still going up, albeit very slowly, but you know that's the way the pH probes work. So Basically, you just place the probe in pH 7. Well, actually, first measure the voltage of your Arduino. Put that in the sketch where it says define Arduino voltage. Ours was 5.06. And upload that sketch to your Arduino. Place it in pH 7 first. And adjust the back left trim pot until it reads 0 volts. So you get the offset. Place it in pH 10 adjust the back right trim pot, the gain trim pot, so that your serial output of the Arduino IDE reads 10 pH or 4, whatever um, whatever solution that you're using you want to match it. So if it's 10.01 uh, buffer solution put that in until it reads that on your serial output. And then put it back in pH 7 adjust the back left trim pot until it reads zero volts again and make sure the, st the reading stabilize so five or ten minutes until the reading stabilize and then place it in the pH 10 again and verify that you it, it reads uh, pH 10 or 4 uh, if it doesn't adjust the back right trim pot until it reads pH 10 and basically just keep doing this until you get very stable readings. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a bit of an updated version from the previous video. Um, so hopefully this explains everything. But again, if you have any questions, please leave a comment.